All right, let's go inside first. Let's do that. Really unique uh, cabin. Okay, so we walk in and we're in the great room. Recliner is included if you want it. Not sure why that was left. Um, beautiful room, obviously vaulted ceilings, high ceilings, traditional cabin. We've got the, uh, the oak ties going across. The fireplace is unbelievable. I'm sure that's rock from the property. And one of the guys told me about this. I didn't notice it the one other time I was in here. Uh, the, the hearth on the fireplace, um, not only has someone either manufactured deer print, well, not manufactured, they probably, you know, took a, a hub and put it in there when it was wet. Uh, I guess it's possible a deer walked across it when it was wet, but also you see these kind of cool rocks and there's a bigger one here, but it looks like it's maybe broken off at some point. Uh, there are, are caves in this area. In fact, uh, on the northeast corner of the, of the ranch uh, are two huge caves. So it's not part of the property where the cabin is, but uh, it was part of the ranch at one time. And those were taken from the caves a um, hundred years ago when they built this uh, amazing fireplace. So wood burning fireplace. Uh, the cabin itself, we're gonna look at two bedrooms. Uh, we've got a small bathroom and we've got a kitchen dining area in addition to the great room. Don't know offhand about the square footage. Um, we'll, we'll measure our steps when we walk the outside. The primary heating system is gonna be these propane wall heaters and there is a tank in the yard. Uh, obviously you've got the wood burning fireplace as well for a heat source. So let's do this. Uh, it's, it's such a cool cabin. I mean, you just don't see this that much or we haven't. Um, it, it appears to have been built all at once uh, but it was a fancy cabin when it was built. Most log cabins are either square or rectangular. That's it. Um, if there's a, an addition, it was done later with uh, milled lumber. This cabin, they built the bedrooms. They built everything uh, with logs all at once. So that's where you see this, these deals coming through to the inside uh, as the addition. I mean, unbelievably labor intensive and time intensive uh, to build a log cabin and, and, uh, have separate bedrooms, which are also log, have the living area, which, or the, I'm sorry, the, the kitchen area, which is also log. So bathroom itself, by the way, the power obviously has been updated quite some time ago. Uh, this is the main box with 200 amp service. And I think you only see one breaker because I believe that that 50 amp breaker is then feeding this box, um, which, you know, has, everything going on to it. So a ton of room for expansion if you ever wanted to add central air, or, you know, you could do electric heat if you wanted to. There's there's plenty of um, amperage for that. Oh, that's gorgeous, I'm gonna take a picture of that. I think I can do pictures while doing a video. Okay, so small bathroom. Oh, by the way, uh, the floors, as far as we know, are original. Hard to say. Um, they might've been redone at, at some point. They're in okay shape. They could be refinished. Okay, so bathroom, um, got a little pedestal sink, um, toilet, obviously. That's an electric water heater. We have a shower area. And you're gonna have uh, uh, the well. This is, uh, what am I trying to say? The pressure tank. Looks like a softener, I guess. We really don't have a lot of details on that. The well itself is actually out there. You can see it from the window. Centered in the photo, you've got the well. There's a spigot out there. Um, this stuff was all shut off uh, before the winter and we really haven't turned anything back on yet. Okay. So bathroom is, is not huge, but it's certainly functional. Let's check out the kitchen area. That's a, uh, I guess, big cavern lodge. So maybe showing the original property, um, the cabin itself, by the way. So here's here's Cactus Lane, County Road. So we came in, uh, cut north. We went, I believe, through the gate right there. And then um, obviously, is that the pond? This is was before the pond was built. This does not show the pond. That's the cabin. And this, this is... Uh, 
I guess that pond is was done after the map. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> that, that little spot is the cabin. The big pond is right about there. And then the vineyard is right behind. Okay, kitchen. Have no idea why the fridge placement is here. I guess that's the fridge they had and that's where it fit. Um, we've got another wall heater. Pretty basic range. Uh, the cabinets themselves are, are nice. That's, I'm not a cabinet guy, either oak or maple, but they're nice. They have kind of the, the natural poles that look like uh, uh, little sticks. Got a couple uppers there and a decent countertop. Nothing too fancy, but certainly usable. And then this would be basically like the dining area. You'd have your little dining table here. Often on, on uh, real log cabins like this, very few windows and very small windows. In this case, they cared about natural light. We've got a lot of large windows here. We have not tried them all, but the ones we tried function just fine. So if you wanted a lot of airflow, I mean, just open a couple of those windows. We did not see screens on any of the windows. I don't think it'd be too tough to, to build your own out of uh, one buys or have someone else build them if you wanted to. This deal here, probably there was a cook stove or a chimney there at some point, and that was taken out. You got an access panel. Um, there's no attic in this part that we know of, but there's some type of attic over the kitchen dining area. You'll see that when we go outside. Okay, bedrooms. This bedroom, at some point someone thought they needed to paint it. It, it looks like it's been quite a few decades since that was done, but it was painted. It, it, it's got a nice bright look to it. And again, a lot of natural light coming into this room. There we go. Logs seem to be in good shape. Okay, second bedroom. This one has not been painted. Got your kind of your lighting set up there. Always a challenge doing electrical in cabins. Uh, they've run a few outlets. You could certainly do something different if you wanted to. It's a good looking room too. Very bright. This would be a great little office facing the front like that. Has the three big windows. Uh, the, the few spots, the foundation appears to be stacked stone that was mortared together. Um, and we'll look at that outside. The only spot we saw that was questionable was right here in this front room. You can see that that's sunk down at some point. It looks like it's been that way for several decades. Um, but just something to be aware of. I mean, that's in any log cabin, you know, you're going to have some... Uh, some settling for sure. Okay, let's take a look at the outside. Alley Spring Cave. That is one of the caves that was on the original lodge. And that's from the from the bedrooms being built on or built at the same time. Okay, so we'll go around uh, the west side here. There's the propane tank, of course. And we already pointed out the well over there. Whoops. Right there, drilled well. Massive tree, my goodness. That's an old, old tree. And as impressive as that fireplace is on the inside, it's even more so on the outside. Hand built with native stone. On some of these fireplaces, you'll see some cool stuff. Um, just the people who were building it, if they got a little creative. If you look at that interesting rock right there, some kind of fossil that they probably pulled out of the creek bed and they basically centered it on the fireplace which is pretty neat. 
awesome to think of them stacking that stone a hundred years ago. The deal at the top, I assume, is just to keep birds or, or squirrels from coming down in there. Now, I hadn't seen this before. There's a, a plug-in out here. It looks like a dryer plug-in, <laughs> and I'm not sure it's long enough that it could actually be run through the window. Or I guess you could run a welder with that deal. Interesting. And there you can see a little bit of the foundation. That stacked rock. And now as we look at the back of the kitchen area, um, you can see what I mentioned earlier about the fact that there, there, there's some kind of attic area up there. We have not explored that, but clearly, clearly there's a large space up there. Um, again, the stack stone foundation appears to be decent overall. Uh, definitely some cracks in there, but I mean, things seem pretty sturdy. There's access to the crawl space right there. We have not been under there. I mean, we haven't done anything to this place. So, I mean, what you're seeing is, is what we're seeing. That is the, the door off the kitchen. So with those steps, it looks like that was probably an entrance that was used at some point. There's another one of those homemade gutter systems over that door. There is a little utility shed back there. Um, really nothing in there. The, the front part with the peaked roof is enclosed. And then that back part is a three-sided shed. Uh, like you could pull a four-wheeler or maybe a side-by-side -side in there just for some storage. I mean, the, the cabin has been maintained, obviously. Um, like any cabin, it could certainly use some restoration, but I mean, it looks usable as it is. Someone that's been taking care of this for, uh, since it was built. Let's go check out the vineyard. Well, let's make a stop at this ancient oak tree. How big is that thing? That thing is huge. Pretty much the only time when we're lucky enough to see hardwood trees of this size, uh, it's in the yard of an old, old homestead. Because for a tree like that to, to escape the the loggers clutches for generations means it was probably in the yard and uh someone in the family very likely the wife said you will not cut that tree and so the tree remained great looking oak tree let's do a quick measurement on that my hat is for scale by the way <laughs> that's why that's down there okay let's do a measurement on this tree a rough rough measurement so one, two, three, four, between 40 and 50 inches diameter, 45 inches diameter. So if you look online, there's tables. Uh, that's either a red oak or a white oak. But if you look up um, uh, age of red oak or white oak and find about the 45 inch diameter, we haven't looked at the tables for a while, but that's a that's an old, old tree that's got to be over 200 years old. Probably predates the... It was probably a mature tree when the cabin was built. And it was the biggest tree around, and they left it right by the cabin. Really cool. All right, just a, another unique thing about this place. And we were shocked when they told us this. Uh, it has a production quality vineyard. Now these trees, they've got the, the bases protected with something. So I mean, there's something going on with these trees. They're probably fruit trees. In fact, I would say they're almost definitely fruit trees. Could be pear. Um, but this is, this is the deal here. We've got this actual uh, vineyard and we haven't counted the vines. One, two, three. Seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten. Okay, so if there's ten in each row, then you've got thirty 
mature grapevines. So yeah, <laughs> you really, really do have the, the start of a winery here. We don't have any details about really what species. We could maybe figure that out if we could contact uh, the old lodge owners. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> you think about the amount of, of labor to uh, to get these mature vines and keep them healthy. There are just a couple that are smaller. I don't know if they're replacement vines. This guy's not as thick as the rest. Knowing absolutely nothing about grapevines, I don't know what to say, but I mean, what you, what you see is what it is. There's a couple smaller ones there. So I guess anywhere from 20 to 30 uh, big mature vines and then some others as well. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, this place just literally has it all like we've never seen before. Got some more trees that they protected the trunks on. So those, we should know what that is with those blossoms, but we just don't. Gorgeous meadow back there, wow. That will probably mow up just like a lawn. I mean, you just, you don't know what you're gonna find on, on one of these uh, original homestead type places. I mean, there, there's well over a hundred years worth of history out here. Oh, speaking of, I almost walked into some history. That kind of looks like an old, an old cistern. Or um, a hand dug well. They would have needed a water source and obviously they didn't have a drilled well a hundred years ago. Well, that goes down, <laughs> it goes down quite a ways. I'm out, of, I'm out of stick. Okay, that should be marked a little better. Let's put this deal up. Let's see if that'll stand up or something. Well, that'll, that'll be something for now. So there appears to be a hand dug well in the backyard. It's got some bricks that are um, more recent, but that was very likely the water source for this entire family for their drinking water. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Just when I thought we were out of surprises. Big mature timber all over the place. We'll do a drone video as well, of course, so you can see it from the air. Man, that's great. Well, we're at the 25 minute mark. I think that is officially the longest video we've ever done. Step back and take a look at the roof. R roof looks pretty solid over here too. I mean, the, the roof line is straight. Shingles look good. We have never had a property anything like this and we, we never will again. I mean, there's really only, only one property like this and you're looking at it. We'll definitely try to answer any questions you have uh, about the property, about the cabin. I wish we knew more. I wish we had a whole entire history of this, this cabin and this homestead, but we don't. Oh, I didn't even mention uh, one of the neighbors, well, the seller told us when we, when we were talking to them um, that he had heard Potentially some history about Jesse James out here uh, and running from from the law and uh, Jesse knew the location of those caves so he went and hid out in one of those caves very probably knew the people who had the cabin 
uh, if the cabin was even here there. I mean, that was a long time ago, but uh, just so much going on with this property. <laughs> if you have any questions, let us know. We'll definitely try to try to help you out. Now now that we saw that monster tree already. That's not the one from the backyard. That's the one near the well. Okay, we'll go ahead and, and do the drone video. Um, oh, septic. Um, obviously, the waste goes somewhere. They, it may be a septic. It may be a lagoon. We have not hunted around to see. I would guess if it was a septic, it's probably in this area because the bathroom is that second one, is the middle window. Uh, I would guess it's maybe somewhere out in here. Um, it could be piped way off in the distance. We have no idea. So, amazing property. Okay, 27 minute mark. Now we definitely set the record. Check out the drone video as well. And if you have any questions on this one, I think I've said that twice already, um, just get a hold of us. We'd, we'd love to talk to you about this, this uh, log cabin. We were just pulling out to leave and realized we had not uh, gotten any measurements on the cabin. Don't have a tape measure, so we're just gonna walk it off uh, and get a get an approximate idea. Okay, hmm, how are we gonna do this? Okay, let's start with just this front part. So we've got well, <laughs> we've got the, the front part, which is a big rectangle, and then we've got the kitchen area. So let's let's walk off this big rectangular front part. Yeah, I'm pretty average, so my steps are about three feet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Puts us at about 18. And what do we have across the front? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, eleven and a half. Let's say eleven. So let's just say thirty-three. So let's call that front part um, eighteen by thirty-three. <laughs> I can't do that math in my head. Okay. So then let's measure the kitchen part. Lock that off. One, two, three, four, five, six. About 18 deep on the kitchen part. Doesn't look it doesn't look 18 wide. Let's try it though. One, two, three, four, five. A little over five. Um, why don't we say 15 by 18 for this kitchen area? And then we had 18 by 33 for the front part. That is approximate, obviously, but that'll give you a, a rough total square footage. Ooh. Here's a spot where the the rocks have clearly separated a little bit. It looks like someone tried to patch it up quite a few years ago. And that's something you want to be aware of. It's, yeah. I mean, everything seems pretty solid from what we could tell, but um, it sure would be a good idea to, to try to do something there. Oh, don't kick that. I mean, a lot of these cabins, uh, these actual cabins like this, uh, they'll be on rock piers, which is interesting. They'll just have piers of stacked, flat stack stone only on the corners. Um, and that tends to support them fine. Uh, this obviously, well, there's zero weight on that section, uh, but you still do want to fix that. Okay. There we have it. <laughs>